see my dad and myself if I started a new bank. And uh, my dad was a successful business person. He looked at it as an opportunity, and I was too young to be scared. Uh, <laughs> so we started meeting with Harold Patton at his office at the co-op. And Tony was like me. He had an opportunity to get, on, get involved as well. And Tony and I go way back. We were college roommates. And again, I was not scared because I was too young. I wasn't married, didn't have any kids. I didn't have as much to lose. But we never dreamed that what has happened has happened. Um, it's been such a great opportunity. It's been so good, not only to us, but the people in Lebanon. Well, I have to say this, Randall. Um, we actually, we knew we wanted to hire you, the group, but we just felt like since we're so many investors, we needed to interview three. <laughs> <laughs> So we did. Only 35 years old. We, we only interviewed three people, but actually, you had the job. Y'all didn't have any money to pay me. I mean, that accounting store. Well, you know, if, I, if I hadn't had the money for the accounting, I couldn't have done it. I mean, they didn't, they didn't have any money. No, they didn't have anything. Well, we didn't have any. I went to work for them just out of the goodness <laughs> that I thought we could. Pay. Get, if they, the, and they've only, always asked, you know, why did you get that done in 90 days? Why didn't have any choice? Because I'm not going to draw any pay. He agreed not to ask for any pay. He agreed not to ask for any pay until the bank opened. And we're like, good. I'm 26 and scared to death, I don't mind telling you. Making a considerable investment, more money than at that time that, than I could imagine. But all that fell into place and worked out. And uh, I can remember pacing, being scared just before the ribbon cutting. We're in the back room and I can remember specifically John Freeman says, are you nervous? And I said, I am. Are you? He said, a little bit. And uh, I said, I think we'll be okay to you. He said, I don't know, I think so. And the hustle and bustle out front from you guys getting ready got quiet. And I said, something's wrong. I looked out and you guys were having a prayer. And I Calm. knew we were going to be good. Calming moment in 1988 uh, when I came to Lebanon and I met Jack and Charles and Johnny and Jimmy at that time working for an SNL. Maybe week before Valentine's Day, he called and said, uh, Hey, how about uh, coming up if you got a few minutes? So came down here and talked to him a little bit and talked about some opportunities. The bank was growing and I was competing against them. So I'd rather be on the ship than uh, outside in the water uh, fighting them all the time. When I worked with Randall and Kay at Peoples, of course, I was really young and and I waited until the time I was not having any money. I mean, I waited till the very last minute to turn in my notice because I just bought a new house and, ooh, I really don't have any money. So I stayed till they could pay me. <laughs> and, and my parents, especially my mother, she was just, oh, she was not happy with me because she was like, you just bought a house. How are you gonna pay for the house? You don't know if you're gonna have a job. And I was like, it'll be okay. And it worked out okay. I think one of the nicest things I've heard customers say is that we are a family mm -hmm. and we treat them like that. Because my dad, when I was even in high school, especially in college, would say, want to tell me about being a banker. So want to tell me about the local bank. He's like, you won't believe what they're doing around here, you know? And he told me when there was an expansion and he was just so proud, I guess, because being from the field, he kind of, the savings and loan was kind of, he felt like Wilson Bank was a lot like he had benefited from when he was in his career. And um, it was on a Sunday afternoon, it was myself and Randall Elmer and Gary. And I just remember in that conversation, we never, we didn't, we didn't talk about salary, you don't talk about benefits. It was just get to know each other and to be around people that, you know, made you better as a person, you know, put you in a different spot as, and I think I was 20, I guess would have been 28 years old. Not just was it the job, but starting at the beginning for all of us, uh, it, it's a passion. And I'm more excited today than I was when we started it. And as you go back over the 30 years, the, the biggest thing is the number of people we've been able to help to achieve something that they, whether that was buying a car, or that was buying a home, or whatever their need was. I mean, sometimes it's been to help somebody pay a hospital bill, or whatever, whatever the need is. And that, when it's all said and done, that's what it's all about. 
our competition wakes up thinking, oh crap, you know, they're already we're already at work at Wilson Bank, you know, because we're gonna outwork and out have the ideas flowing, they're gonna keep us ahead.